I am going to show you guys two unfair integrals. Okay, as you guys know that, I like to tell you guys, sometimes when we do integrals, the more the better. However, that's not true in this situation. This is actually easier, okay? And for the people who tried it, please share your answers and your method with us, with these two integrals. Let's focus on this one. The integral of square root of 1 plus sine of 2x. What can we do? Perhaps we can multiply and divide the inside with 1 minus sine of 2x on the top and also on the bottom, right? However, I do not want to do that. And now what? <laughs> you see, we have the 2x inside the sign, so I just want to break it apart. I want to use the double angle formula for that, right? In that case, I can also bring up cosine x. Perhaps that would be helpful. So let me look at this integral as the integral of square root of 1 plus sine of 2x. It's the same as 2 sine x cosine x, right? And then we have the dx. And now what? Wouldn't it be nice if we don't have the square root, right? And uh, if you watch my previous video, we talk about how we can complete the square in the theta world. But we have the trig functions right here already. So that doesn't, you know, that, that, that doesn't seem to be right. What if we can complete the square inside of the square root? That would be so nice, isn't it? Ideally speaking, square square root cancel, then yeah, everything's nice. And you see, we have 2 sine x cosine x. That looks kind of suspicious. Why did I say that? So let me remind you guys one of the most famous formula, right? We have this one, right? We have a plus b in the parentheses square, which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. And we see that the 2 times sine x times cosine x. This looks so much like this, isn't it? The 2ab. And now the question is, is it possible for us to get the a square and the plus b square over there. Yes, we are going to use the one to help us out. And maybe you noticed this already. We have a famous, famous, famous identity, right? But this time, we are going to use it backwards. We know that the one is what? The one is the same as sine square x plus cosine square x, right? This time, I'm going to rewrite the 1 as that. So, I will cheap this step. That means I can factor it, right? Ha ha! Alright, let's come back here and continue. This is now the integral of square root. And let me write down the sine square x first. Okay, and then plus 2 sine x cosine x. I need to make this slightly longer. And then let me write down the plus cosine square x right here. And then we still have the dx of course and now what you see this is the integral of the square root inside it's a perfect square now and that is going to be sine x plus cosine x square dx and you can watch my other videos when we have this situation we're just going to cancel out the square and the square root without putting down the absolute value okay i showed you how to integrate the absolute value I'm just going to ignore the absolute value for integration purpose. I want to focus on integrating sine x plus cosine x, right? And do this carefully. The derivative of what will give us plus the sine x? The answer to that is negative cosine x. And the derivative of what will give us plus the cosine x? The answer for that is plus the sine x. And then we are done. Put a plus z. This is it. Okay. And now let's focus on this right here. How is this related to that? Okay, first of all, you see that they both have the square root of sine of 2x, and let me just kind of draw the box like this to separate them, okay? Not a box, like a stair. Hmm. Let's see. So if you want to just break it apart at the moment, this is going to be rather bizarre, right? And then, um, yeah, this is how we're going to do it. This. It's the same as integrating cosine x minus sine x on the top. All over, we have the square root. Um, I do want to complete the square, like how we did it over there. You see, this is another kind of complete the square. But the inside here, I just have the sine of 2x. I do not have this one to help me out. But it's okay. 
If there's no one, we can always add one. But then be sure to subtract one right away so that we can pretend nothing happened. So for the inside here, let me look at the insides. First, let me put down the one. I'm going to add the one first. And then the sine of 2x, that's plus 2 sine x cosine x, right? And then, as I said, I have to minus 1 immediately so that I can pretend nothing happened. I did two things in this step. And then, I'm going to just look at this as the integral of, by the way, dx. On the top, we still have the cosine x minus the sine x over, well, this part here, okay, this part here, it's the same as that. I'm not going to write down all the steps for you guys again. Let me just put this down for you because we can complete the square already for all this. That is so nice, isn't it? So this right here is that, which is the parentheses sine x plus cosine x and then square, okay? And then we still have the minus one at the end, right here. Now, does this help? Yes, because we can do u sub. And I'm just going to work this out right here. The u is going to be this, which is sine x plus cosine x and you see that du which is going to be cosine x minus sine x dx okay and then we can take this integral into the u world this is the integral i'm not going to show you guys the cancellation because i have to save space right here <laughs> you see the top right here this is cosine x minus sine x and then we have the dx right the whole thing here is exactly the du. So let me just put this down as du on the top, and then this is over square root, and then this is the u, and then we have to raise that to a second power because u is just the inside. So we have u square and then minus one, right? And now, how can we integrate this? The answer for that is, I did it for you guys already uh, in the previous video. <laughs> So, I'm just going to write down the answer for you guys. This right here is going to give us ln absolute value, and then we have the u plus square root of u square minus 1. And to get this, we have to do trick sub, but there's no way for me to fit this uh, trick sub again for you guys, so watch the other video. Are we done? No. We have to substitute this back. So, Finally, we get ln absolute value, the u is sine x plus cosine x, so let me write that down, sine x plus cosine x, and then plus square root of this u, this that, put it in a parentheses, sine x plus cosine x, and then square, and then minus 1, this is in the square root, and then we still have to close the absolute value, and then we are so done, so we put a plus c at the end and hopefully you guys are impressed with these two integrals